quiz one number three. Here we have a trinomial and we want to factor it. So the first thing we always want to do when we're factoring is try to pull out a GCF. So let's see what all of these terms have in common. Everybody's got a 7. Everybody has 1x. And for y's, the y to the 1 power would be the greatest common factor. Then we write our leftovers in parentheses. So we pulled out a 7 and 1x and 1y, so we're left with 5x's, x to the 5th, and y cubed. For the next term, we pulled out a 7, so we're left with 7, x cubed, y squared, and then for the last term, we're left with a 4, and we pulled out the xy, so there's nothing else there. And this doesn't factor anymore, so that would be our answer. And let's take a look also at quiz one number four, which is another factoring problem. And this one we want to factor by grouping instead. Four terms. Always try factoring by grouping if you have four terms. And it's always good to check to see first, is there a GCF that comes out of everybody? And no, there isn't. So let's go ahead and group them two by two. For the first one, the GCF is 9z. And we're left with z plus 4. The next one, if we want to have the correct sign on the binomial that's left, we're going to need plus plus, which means we have to pull out the minus sign as a common factor. And then they both have an a. So we pull that out and we're left with z plus 4. And now we have common factor of binomials. Pull out the common factor, z plus 4. We're left with 9, 9z take away a. And let's also fit in quiz one number seven. Another factoring problem. This one is a trinomial. So again, we're gonna try to figure out, first of all, what the GCF is. And the problem asks to complete the factoring. So we're given what one of the binomial factors is already. We're also given what the GCF is. So if I pull out the GCF of 2x, then we're left with x squared, plus 3x, plus 2. And now we can do trinomial factoring. We know that one of our binomials will be x plus 2. And in order for us to get an x squared here, we have an x here. In order to get a 2 here, a positive 2, we have plus 1. So that would give us our other piece. And it's good to double check when you enter your answer into my math lab that you're entering just x plus 1 because you only want to put in the missing piece. You don't want to put in the entire answer into that space that they're leaving for the missing piece because the software won't recognize it and will mark it incorrect. And let's see, one more question for quiz 1, number 9. And number 9 is factor by grouping. Now this is a trinomial with very large numbers. So factoring by grouping works pretty nice when you have large numbers and you're not really comfortable with the trial and error method. So as usual, let's pull out a GCF first. Let's see, 12 is 2 times 6, and 58 is 2 times 29, and 84 is 2 times 42. So let's go ahead and pull out a 2. And everybody's got at least one B, so let's pull out a B. And we're left with 6B squared plus 29B take away 42. All right, we still have pretty large numbers. So to factor by grouping, we're going to look for factors of A times C, first times last, or 6 times minus 42, which is minus 252 that sum to the middle term of positive 29. All right, once we find the factors that work and do that, we're going to replace this middle term by the two factors and split it, and then we'll have four terms here on, inside the parentheses, and we'll do factor by grouping from there. So let's start listing out what the factors of 
minus 252 are, keeping in mind we want them to add up to be a positive number. So the larger factor is always going to be positive. We have 252 times minus 1. And then try dividing 252 by 2 and see if that works. It does. So we have 126 times minus 2. Does it divide by 3? Yep, that'll give us 84 times minus 3. Right now this is not summing to 29, but we're getting there. So dividing it by 4 works. That gives us 63 times minus 4, so we're getting closer. Dividing by 5 doesn't work, so let's go to dividing by 6. 42 times minus 6. Almost there. Dividing by 7 gets us 36 times minus 7, and that adds up to 29. So now we're going to use those factors and rewrite the middle term. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got, we had 2b times 6b squared plus 29b minus 42. And now we're going to split this middle term into the factors of 36b minus 7b. So we have 2b times 6b squared plus 36b minus 7b minus 42. And now we can factor by grouping. 2 by 2. This 2b tags along. And for the first one, the GCF is 6b. And we're left with b plus 6. For the next one, to get the correct binomial signs, plus and plus, we need to pull out a minus sign. GCF of 7, we're left with b plus 6. Common binomial comes out as a common factor. So we get b plus 6. Leftovers, 6b minus 7. And to rewrite the final answer, we can get rid of those brackets. 2b times b plus 6 times 6b take away 7.